Okay, everybody, let's try this again. Just had a fire alert on my phone, and I think that messed things up, so we're back. Yeah, there's a fire kind of close to us down on the freeway. I guess they got it under control, so that's good. So anyway, this is a video I was planning on making today until I got my mail, and I had to do that mail call video that I'm sure some of you have seen by now, because... Uh, that was pretty cool, so I wanted to do that first. But this is that 50s drag car build I was talking about that I was using. Whoa, there we go. The parts from that kit. Cool kit, cool TV show, like I said before. But we're not building that. I was trying to decide what I was going to do for a body. Maybe make a scratch build one out of styrene. Just kind of set it there and make it scratch or maybe do this the little tea bucket thing and narrow it or set it on there but I hacked that thing up and I think I'm gonna go this way because it's narrow it's got the old backyard look this is not gonna be all perfectly painted and lots of colors it's gonna be more of a backyard a couple guys got together hacked up a frame put the little drag car and fabbed a little body there out of some aluminum and went racing so this is where i'm at i uh, found a seat that i think that's out of the old amt 56 ford kind of looks like a bomber seat i don't have a bomber seat i guess you can scratch build one but i didn't really want to so i narrowed a roll bar to fit down in there kind of how they did it back in the day that's the motor that comes with the kit because it bolts up to that rear end and the rear end sits in there nice and it sticks out in the back a little bit further later on I think they started narrowing them but a lot of guys when they first started doing these things early early 50s they kind of stuck out a little bit it'll be a little bit higher in the front as you can see where, where it uh, glues onto the front end there it's kind of low and I'm going to make a flat head out of the motor that come with the kit so I can use it. Just easier trying to bolt up to that rear end. Get the right length and, and the mounts and everything. So I cut some pulleys off of a, off the front of a flat head motor here. And old AMT flat motor. I cut the pulleys off and I'm going to stick them on each side of that. And I got some heads I'm going to put on there. And I got the two carb manifold. No, uh, there's no fan belts or anything on these. They didn't, they didn't run uh, pumps or anything. So I'm going to try and make it look as close to old school as I can. I don't think anybody will know that I, that's not really a flathead. Maybe by the tranny, I don't know. But we'll fake it. But I, I found some more ideas. Uh, these these are some pictures I found in all those binders that Greg Fury gave me. I'm going through those and just taking out everything from the local Deer Park drag strip and putting them into one binder. And I came across these, so that's kind of, that's one without a body. Pretty, there's that bomber seat. Yeah, I don't know, I guess I could scratch build one of those if I want to. I don't know, we'll see. But see, there's no pulley or no fan belt on there or anything. Uh, I might do some wiring. I might try doing the flathead better. The heads, I, I hate doing the spark plug wires. But I got motivated a little bit. You'll see, uh, you've seen on the other video from what I got in the mail, he did a really good job on the wiring that flathead. So it kind of inspired me a little bit. There's another shot. Check out that distributor. That's a easy way to do a distributor on the flathead. So I might do that. See again, nothing on the pulleys. Those are kind of like my heads. There's a water line going there. But I'll probably just do that lower where we got water line that just circulates around. And not have anything on the top. Oh, sorry. Uh, so let's see what's on the oh and then there's some more 
like that. See, he's got some goofy stuff going on there. He's got the old style distributor there, but there's that hose line on the bottom for the water circulate. I guess that might be for adding it, because I was reading here they they just change water every run, so it's kind of cool. That's a good looking one there. So that's the kind of body I was thinking about making. But when I hacked that thing up, it looks pretty cool. And I like something they would do in their backyard. And then there's the good old Garlitz one that we've all seen and know and love. And that's and that's kind of like the body I was thinking about too. And he's got padding on his seat. And I need a, some good shots of interiors in the linkage and stuff. There's kind of a good shot there. There's the shifter there. And they got a long handle coming back to the uh, driver. This is going to be really long here because the tranny's there. And he's clear back there, but we'll make it work. There's that famous shot. We've all seen a garlic sitting in it. The headers and everything is pretty cool. And I don't think it was this nice when he did it, but he restored it. There's a front of it for his museum, and it's really nice. But I'm making mine kind of uh, kind of thrown together. No shiny parts, no fancy paint, no bright colors really. Maybe just on the motor or something. Just they threw it together in the backyard or in the garage. There's some cool shots of garlic with it. And these pictures, it looks kind of it looks kind of thrown together. You know, the frame's kind of dirty. Everything. So that's kind of. That's kind of what I'm going for. I might find some more pictures as I'm going through that stuff. Kind of see how stuff works on the inside there. You know, to get some uh, control arms there and the steering linkage and all that sort of thing. But it's looking pretty good. I'm liking it. It's going to be pretty cool. I don't know how far detail I'm going to go, but i probably wire it. Hopefully I can do it and do some fuel lines and linkage and stuff so anyway that's an update on the old uh, 50s early 50s uh, rail job so we'll see how it goes uh, nothing much going on told you some stuff in the video before this so I'll let you guys go everybody stay cool I uh, thank my subscribers again I got to do that every video because man I really appreciate it I just uh, blown away by all of you guys subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you haven't, please do give it a shot. Have some fun. And check out everybody else too, man. Awesome stuff out there. And you can learn lots of cool stuff. So anyway, take care. Stay cool. And we'll talk at you later. Friday morning models and cars and coffee for sure. So bye.